f of x is equal to x squared minus k plus 8x plus 8k plus 1. Part A, find the discriminant of f of x in terms of k, giving your answer in a simplified quadratic. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. In this case, the a is the 1. The b is the minus k plus 8. And the c is the 8k plus 1. So substituting those into the discriminant, we've got the b squared. Minus 4 times a times c. Right, let's simplify that then. So the minus, when that gets squared, will just become a positive. So I don't need to worry about that. Right, let's expand that out. So the k squared was k squared. Then we've got the k times the 8, which is 8k. And we'll have two of them, so that's 16k. And then we've got the 8 squared, which is 64. Then we have got the, the f minus 4 times 1, which is just going to be minus 4. The minus 4 times the 8k is going to be minus 32k. The minus 4 times the 1 is minus 4. Collecting up the like terms, we've got the k squared. The 16k minus the 32k is minus 16k. And the 64 minus... 4 is plus 60. Part B. If the equation f of x equals 0 has two equal roots, find the possible values of k. So two equal roots means that my discriminant, which I've just found, is equal to 0. Equal root means the same thing as repeated root, so your discriminant is equal to zero. Which I can now factorise and solve. It's going to be a k minus 10 and a k minus 6 to get the 60 and the minus 16. So k is either 10 or 6. If k has either of those values, then the equation will have two equal roots. Then for part C, we need to show that when k is 8, f of x is greater than 0 for all values of x. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so k is 8. So if I substitute that into my original equation now to work out exactly what f of x is, So we've got the x squared at the front, minus, now we've got the k plus 8. If k is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16. Plus the 8k plus 1. So the 8 slots of 8 is 64, plus the 1 is 65. So this is f of x when k is 8. And I need to show it's always going to be greater than zero. Easiest way to do that is by completing the square. So I'm going to half the 16 to get the perfect square. I would need to subtract 64 and then add the 65, which gives a plus one. So this is telling me that the minimum is 1, 
when x equals 8. And if the minimum is 1, that means it always has to be greater than or equal to 1, so therefore it's always going to be positive. So minimum is 1 when x is 8. Therefore, always greater than, greater than 0 for all values of x. And we're done.